Hey guys, so today I'm at the Oysterville Cemetery. This is my first time doing a session at this cemetery. So I'm a little bit nervous if I'm quite honest, but I am ready to give it a try. We'll be using this phone with the app. My first time at this cemetery, so I'm not sure how it's gonna go. I think what we might use first is Spirit Talker and just test that out. Here's the cemetery. It is a very beautiful cemetery. I think what we might do is go back towards that way. Let's see if I can get this app to work. Spirit Talker. Let's see. It's loading. Okay, hey spirits, my name is Caltrina. I am here to talk to you, or Tina for sure. I forgot to say that. Tina for sure is probably easier to pronounce. Um, I'm just here to talk with you to give you a voice. This device will help me communicate with you, so feel free to talk through here and I should hear you without an issue. This is a cell phone I'm holding, by the way. I come here in love, respect, and kindness. I'm not here to make fun or disrespect. I'm here to respect and to talk with you. Give you a voice if you want to talk. You don't have to, but you can if you want. Okay, we're starting the app. Let's see how this plays out. I'm gonna turn something on hold on y'all sorry okay let's see if we get anything at all I was kind of thinking of going maybe to this family first is anybody with me we're using the spirit talker app by the way can you feel me can you feel me that's the first one no, I can't feel you. If you want, you can tap me, like touch me, but please be gentle um, so that I know you're here. You can pet me on the shoulder, on the leg, like a human touch so that I know you're here. Is anybody from the stream family here? Hold on, y'all. Okay, so this is the stream family. You can talk with me through this device, my phone. We're gonna use a spear talker app first to test it out and see if anything happens. Is anybody here with us from this family or anyone else? Please say your name. I'm just waiting for this device to see if it says anything or not, you guys. And then we'll switch to probably Necro app, I think. Explain this equipment. Explain this equipment. Okay, so this one I'm holding on my right hand is my cell phone. It's what you use to talk with. This one that I'm recording with is also my cell phone, but if you want to talk with me, feel free to come close to this red phone that I'm holding and say something. And this thing, the stick that I'm holding is just to balance the camera. This should help me communicate with you. If you want to, of course. You don't have to. We'll be trying some other apps that will help me communicate with you guys. I hope that makes sense. Can you see me right now? Do you see me? My throat. My throat. Hmm. What do you mean by my throat? Did something happen to your throat? I have to be careful in the cemetery because it is in the forest, so it could be some sort of wildlife. My friend did tell me that she did come here and um, during the night and said it was spooky, but there's no way I'm coming here during the night. Over here, it looks like we have another family plot. Is this family buried here? Grace Cooper. Can you tell me your name?
this is private property over here someone actually has private property right here can you imagine like building something here and living right next to the cemetery i feel like i would be too scared okay spirits i'm gonna try another app okay guys we're gonna try necrophonic and see how that plays out let's see if it wants to work oh necrophonic okay let's start hello Sound like I heard hello. Can you, can you see me? Can you tell me your name? Can you see me over here? <laughs> Should we try echo? Let's see what echo does. Hello? Do you, do you see me walking around here? Is it okay that I'm visiting? Is it okay that I'm visiting you guys at this cemetery? Someone is here, so I'm not gonna say anything. I'm gonna stop for a second to drive my car through here. Okay, guys, I'm in the car for now because there was a person that showed up here with their car and they drove inside the cemetery. So I'm just gonna give them some privacy. Um, I stopped recording when I saw them and just walked around the cemetery and then I decided I'm just gonna go in the car for now. So I don't know if I'll be continuing or not. Um, just because. I don't know if I will or not, but. I might just leave just to give the person some privacy because I don't know if they're here to visit a loved one or if they're here to do maintenance or what they're here for but I'm just gonna give them some space I'm gonna take this off there were some places nearby that I was actually thinking of visiting too so I don't know maybe this cemetery video might be cut short for at least the part where I talk to them with the spirit boxes or maybe it won't be Again, I don't know for sure yet what's going to happen, but I might wait here a couple minutes and then see. I really don't want to leave because like, I came all this way, which is a bummer because I, I, I feel like I didn't get to fully use the apps and the things that I wanted to use in this area. But I don't know. I did say that the cemetery is not open to the public, but technically I'm not really much of a public random person i am kind of a person who's what's it called lives not too far from here like i don't know it's kind of a far drive but i consider myself a local i don't know anyways i'm just gonna drive away because i don't know that person is still there hey hey Juan. hold on y'all oh it's nothing it's just the fucking roads are so bad here i mean look yeah, I don't know what that person is doing. I think we have no choice but to leave, which, whatever, it's okay. So, here's what the cemetery here looks like, real quick. Wow, there looks like a broken down shed on the very left over there. I want to take a picture in front of this sign. Should I do that? I think I just might. I might just take a picture. 
this cemetery sign. Let's do that. Look at that. Yep. Cemetery. Worcesterville Cemetery. Nice spot. We are kind of in the middle of practically nowhere.